to My Sugar TV. My name is Tony Song, and uh, I am your host. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Diabetes Care Pharmacy and Health Program Center here in West Covina, California. Um, I wanted to go over a, a new drug that's been FDA approved, I think probably less than about uh, maybe a week or two. Um, it's, a, it's actually a remake of a... Uh, uh, an older, or not an, even an old one, but um, a uh, uh, diabetes medication that has been out uh, in the market for a while uh, for type 2 patients. Um, the one that you might know is called Bieta or Exenatide. Uh, maybe some of you have uh, used it and probably found some pretty good success. But it's an injection, it's not an insulin, uh, but it's, a, it's an injection and it's given uh, twice daily. Well, the, uh, the company that makes that particular uh, medication um, improved their, uh, their medication by doing it uh, as a once a week uh, injection. So uh, we wanted to kind of let you know that it's out there and um, for those of you that have used Bayet and found some pretty good success, now you have another option of actually using a once a week um, injection instead of a twice a day. So it's, a, it's pretty cool, I think it's good news. And you know, the more options uh, you get uh, or that, that's available, obviously uh, it, it, it provides you uh, more tools in your diabetes toolbox, or at least the doctors, um, to control your diabetes. So the medication is called uh, Bidurion, that's B-Y-D-U-R-E-O-N. And just like the Bayetta and the Xenotide, um, it is called a GLP-1 uh, receptor uh, agonist or a glucagon-like peptide receptor agonist. So this uh, GLP-1 hormone or incretin hormone uh, they have studied and what they've seen is that um, patients uh, or people that live with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, have lower amounts of this uh, particular hormone. So uh, the, uh, the pharmaceutical company said, well, what if we increase the amount of this uh, hormone in your body, what would it do? And what they found is that by injecting yourself uh, with, uh, with this hormone, uh, it actually uh, creates a response for the beta cells which are in your pancreas uh, to, to, um, uh, to give a, a, an insulin response to bring down your blood sugars. Um, and it only happens uh, usually during um, when you eat. So um, pretty interesting thing. And um, what I would recommend is that you look up uh, the, the uh, drug online. Uh, the company that makes it is called Amelin. And, uh, and you can see the different, now that they have two, they have the Bayetta and now they have uh, this Bidurion as well. So check it out. Brand new thing out on the market. I think, uh, again, uh, the most important thing is that if there's more tools to control your diabetes, the better. And obviously, having it once a week uh, makes it a lot easier uh, for uh, just adherence and compliance and all these other things that come along with just doing it once a week instead of every, every day doing it twice a day. So, um, but, you know, check with your doctor and, uh, and do some investigation yourself to make sure that this is right for you. And obviously, the doctor has to prescribe it. Uh, so I'll put a link for the company that makes uh, this new medication down below. It's called Amelin. And uh, also, I found a cool uh, link to a video on YouTube that goes over uh, the, uh, the GLP-1 GLP kind of in an animated way, so you can kind of get an idea of what it actually does. Um, also, uh, I want to show you uh, at the end of this uh, video... Um, how to administer it. So we have a demo kit that we got and we can show you, well we're going to show you on video um, how it's done, how you pull up, you know, how you get the vial, you open it up, and there's a there's an adapter that you put on. So it's pretty simple. Um, so it'll be at the end of this video. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on My Sugar TV, and um, we'll see you next time. Okay, so um, here's a demo of how to use the new medication. It comes in a couple of different components. The first is the vial connector. Then we have the, uh, the syringe that has the diluent in it. Also, the vial that has the medication. And you'll see that it's in a powder form. And uh, also the, um, the needle. 
So I'm going to put this off to the side. Um, so the kit will kind of look like this, and I'll have a, um, uh, uh, a paper shield over it that you're going to pull off in a way so that you can get to everything. Put this off to the side. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your vial and pop open the green cap like that and then open this vial connector just like that you're going to take your vial which has got the white powder in it maybe give it a couple of taps so that it's all on the bottom and then you're going to put it up against the vial connector and push straight in once you do that it's, uh, it's on there securely the uh, neat thing about this vial connector is that it makes it easy to draw or put in diluent and draw it out. Um, if you've ever had experience of drawing up anything in a vial, uh, some of the, the medication settles on the bottom and it's real hard to get using a syringe. In a, uh, uh, a syringe. So in this case, it uses this adapter to make it much easier. So, next step is to get your uh, uh, syringe with a diluent. There's going to be some uh, or liquid in there. First thing you want to do is take off this cap. There's two squares, gray squares on the side. Hold both of them at the same time and just snap it. It'll come off. Next thing you do is you're going to bring up the, uh, the syringe right up against there, the connector, and then twist it about a half a twist. That's it. Next thing is that you're going to press down on the plunger and all the liquid will be going uh, into the vial. So like that. Once you got the liquid into the vial, you're going to shake it pretty vigorously. Like that. They say uh, you're going to shake it like you're shaking oil and vinegar, mixing the two. And, uh, and then look at the vial. If there's any more white powder or any powder residue on the side of it, just give it a little bit more shake until it's all into the, uh, into the solution. And what you're going to see is kind of a white cloudy solution. Once you get that, you're going to draw it up. And you're going to pull back on the plunger to the point where you can see the, uh, the dotted black line. I don't know if you see that. But I'm going to pull it back just like that. All right. And then you're going to twist the, uh, the, um, the vial off and put that away. Next step is your um, needle. So um, the needle will go right here. And then you turn it like that and then you pull away like so and then give your injection um, it's a sub-Q inje injection so you can put it uh, uh, usually uh, in your abdomen area or on your thighs and um, you just go straight in and then slowly push down on the plunger until you get your full dose and then pull out. And that's it. Very simple. The, um, once you mix the medication, it's recommended that you use it on that same, uh, that same time that you're doing it. You don't want to wait any, uh, any, uh, any length of time before you give yourself your medication. So, meaning that you don't want to put it back in the refrigerator and then come back later on and give yourself the injection. You want to give it when you mix it. The other thing that's nice is that every uh, kit of medication will come with one of these, which is a nice little, dem well, it's not going to say demonstration kit, but it'll say instruction kit. And you'll see that it has step-by-step -step colored pictures and, uh, and uh, descriptions on how to give yourself this injection. So it makes it very easy. And, um, you know, nobody likes giving themselves injections, but uh, they make it very easy to, uh, to use, even if it has all these different components in it. So that's, uh, that's the demo of, um, of the new medication by Dirion. 
and I hope that helps you out.